Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life is good. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Andre's recipe for success. It's going to sound familiar. I've done this before, but it's been at least a year since I've done it. So, uh, yeah, we'll do it again. Anyway, let me honk a little bit. We'll see if I'm warmed up, and we will uh, take it from there. <laughs> Guys, I haven't played sea trumpet in so long, but in honor of... Maurice Andre, we will play C trumpet. Maurice Sandre, maybe the greatest trumpet player forever live. I'm going with him and Mel Broyles. Might even give the edge to Mel. He did more overall work, more genres, especially in the commercial field. But Mel, man, 250 dates a year worldwide. Anybody that's on the road, like I have, knows that is just gruesome. That is brutal. And to think he was the uh, out front as the soloist is extraordinary. I mean, when I, I, I did a tour of um, uh, Sophisticated Ladies with Maurice and Gregory Hines. I played lead trumpet, which is the Cat Anderson solos and all this sort of stuff. And uh, didn't have it every night. And I had a tremendous second player that... Uh, Picked up some notes for me now and then, just like uh, John Moir picked up from Catarabic for um, Vacchiato and Catarabic picked up from uh, Herseth. It happens. It absolutely happens. Not if you're the soloist. If you're playing with the same Martins of the Field Chamber Orchestra or the, or the um, Czech Republic or the New York Philharmonic or the St. Luke's Chamber Orchestra, right? With all these critics around and you're playing the Tartini, you're playing the Brandenburg, you're playing Vivaldi, you're playing Talamon, and it's not right. Man, there's no place to hide. That, that, that is just absolutely brutal. Even Mel, as great as he was, was down in the pit. Anyway, that's off the subject. But his recipe for success, now, as the legend goes, uh, he was the son of a coal miner, and he certainly had some talent, and he went to the Paris Conservatory to study on a full scholarship. Well, I guess all he did was party, by his description. And he was in danger of literally flunking out. Can you imagine Maurice Andre flunking out of... Anyway, and his teacher, Raymond Saberish, the great uh, renowned teacher at the Paris Conservatory, they took him aside and read him the riot act. And he told him, he said, son, this time next year you're going to be back in the coal mines unless you get your act together. This was trumpet as well as his actual studies. So it lit a fire on him, and he went, and he started the Andre recipe for success. Now, keep in mind, his chops were perfect to begin with, okay? If anybody else tries to do this and their chops are not right, they're going to kill themselves. Trust me, I know, all right? But what he did was he took the Arben book and owned it three to five hours every single day just on the Arben book, primarily the characteristic studies, okay? That was before he went and uh, worked on his solos and everything that he needed for Sabrish. I mean, every single day he didn't want to go back to the coal mines, and the rest is history. But, guys, this is what I am 
proposing. I told you, the first lesson I ever had with Vacchiano, the ceremony. You play the Arvin book, you can play anything. My first lesson with Jerry, you play the Arvin book up an octave and you can be a star. That's what he did. That's what Adolf Schermann did. That's what he did. Now, before you take it up an octave, now, he played everything in, Paris, in uh, French tradition. They all played C trumpets. Kept everything in concert C. Okay? So he was playing everything on a C trumpet. That's why I played a little C. All right? Now, he, um, and three to five hours a day. Now, his chops were right. If it's chops and you go three, five hours a day for a week and your chops aren't right, you're, you're, you're toast. But guys, I'm telling you, that is a recipe for great chops. It just is. Stay in your happy zone. Spit buzz, have a one SB. You have to have, I can't guarantee you about a one SB. Yeah. He was playing Bach mouthpieces that were a whole lot better than the garbage we have today. Okay? But guys, this is it. Now, I talk a lot that you don't need a lot of practice to keep your chops up. And I mean that sincerely. But the fact of the matter is, like Andre, if your chops are right, the more you practice, the better your chops are. There is no question about that. As long as you practice the way we said, uh, nice and slow, make sure each note pops. Stop when you have to. I don't care if it's one measure, but stop when you have to stop. And guys, your chops, it's a recipe for success. Now, Maurice, on top of these extraordinary chops, was a, just a blissful musical talent. And I'm not saying all of us, including myself, have that musical talent. But guys, the recipe for success is there for Andre Chops. It can be done. It can be done. I guarantee it if you have the one SB. And you young guys, guys, if you want to put the three to five hours, there's nobody at the top that's doing what Maurice does. It's wide open if that's something you want. The rest of us, you don't have to practice to keep those great jobs. You have to practice so you don't clam. Like moi, I don't practice that much anymore, so I clam. I have Brandenburg chops. If I played a Brandenburg, they'd throw tomatoes because I'd be clamming all over the place, but I could play high A's. I can I get through it chop-wise. See what I'm saying? But guys, it's there. It's there for anybody. And if that's something you want, get in touch with me. Now remember, his chops were right. You get the one SB, you take the free lesson, and if you have to take another few months of lessons to get the chops right, then you just own the Arbon book. Now, I've told you before, it doesn't have to be the Arbon book. It can be Dizzy Gillespie solos, Clifford Brown solos, Miles Davis solos. John Faddis, by the time he was 18, do a hundred, had memorized a hundred Dizzy Gillespie solos. It's the, excuse me, the exact same formula that Maurice was doing. Now, like Maurice, Faddis is a stupendous musician on top of it. But that's how you develop the chops. All right? All right. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all.